What up fam, another episode of Break My Wallet. So yeah, it's been a minute since I posted another video. I, if you watched my last Clone Army update video, I do have something in relation that's coming down the line, or at least I'm kind of working on it. But I'm also working on taking down every single module building to show that off, as well as lining them all up to include another castle video, which I'm waiting for pieces to come in. So since it's Black Friday, I've already broken my wallet, but there are some more things I kind of want to look at. And if you're not familiar with what this series is, it's really just me shopping online. <laughs> And for those of you who are also new to this channel, unlike everyone else who just shops on lego.com, I like to peruse through a lot of third-party custom Lego companies. So let's start with Brickmania. They are doing this 12 deals of Christmas thing that leads or leads to Black Friday or post. I forget, they've already been doing stuff every day. Uh, but for days specifically, it's buy three, get one free Brickmania kits, uh, which excludes pre-orders and vault kits, uh, which kind of sucks because there really isn't much going on or less left in inventory right now. At least when I last checked, but it's cool to see that Lando, if you're familiar with Lando, is back with Brickmania and is uh, having some of his stuff being sold on their website which is actually cool i have a bunch of these courtesy of lando and um it's good quality prints i definitely recommend his stuff and it's good to see that you can buy it on brick mania but let's see what they got so the black ops squad pack part one which is already sold out now this is in reference to uh call of duty or the video game right i have no idea i don't play the game you know it's too violent for me <laughs> so if you did get this it's a, uh, you know, it's $100 and you get a free Black Ops brick. So I did pick one of these up and it looks like it's, it's a part one. Now, the last time I did these squad packs, I did it with Saving Private Ryan. I got all three of them and I probably should make a video on that because now I have all of them. But yeah, let's just go back to Black Friday specials. If you spend $100, like I said, you get this exclusive brick, uh, which is something that I like to add to my brick badge because I have a lot of bricks on my brick badges that I can't even wear them all now. I kind of just leave a lot of the uh, ones behind at this point, but I don't know what this is. Like $500 is an exclusive kit. I, I haven't really been keeping up as I should be, but there's something here that they're not showing. There's 27 in stock. So um, I'm, I'm curious to see what the exclusive set or whatever, there's 27 left. For $500 that's on here. So yeah. At the same time, they have this Wonder Wolf crate version four, something they've been doing every year. If you want to spend it's like $75, it's like perfect calibers, and then it's crate, which is pretty cool. And then this black ops UTV for $75 with a, a build and two minifigs. That's not so bad. Not gonna lie. They are very simplistic. There's not a lot of printing going on. It looks like there is a little bit on the vest and the head and the 3D printed helmet, but there really isn't much. So for $75, it's, it's actually not that bad. They did just have this bricks in the sand. So they do release instruction books and instructions online. I definitely recommend if you're trying to save money and don't want to go through the whole manufacturing process to pay for that price point. If you have the ability to source the bricks yourselves through BrickLink, it's a good way to not spend so much money. But they do release their own instructions and uh, they find it bricks in the sand part too. So like, you know, current or not really current 20 years ago, the Operation Iraqi Freedom vehicles that were during that time so but as mentioned earlier it's buy three get one free kits and as you can see here there really isn't much to grab there's only two pages and in previous videos that i've done like this there's been pages of stuff that you can buy i kind of had a complaint about that but i guess it really if you're going to take advantage of the whole set thing you would probably want to visit the store so not really much there they did have like a buy three get one free minifig or buy i don't really remember what the the price point was but they do have some stuff in stock in case you wanted to take a look two pages worth of minifigs it's a little less than usual but they do have some stuff that you can buy i do want this miramar action pack part two because well you know tom cruise goose and the the motorcycle but uh i didn't buy the f14 at least the newer version that they created before to be able to update it to the this you know whole printing i do want these figs and motorcycle which kind of sucks i gotta buy all these uh, I, I guess i could update the f14 that i have to to this since the f14 that i have are all stickers anyways which would then make this all printed i do like this statue regardless of the content uh i think this would be kind of just cool just to have in the city and it does benefit the whole united 24 thing which is cool again there really isn't much that i already don't have so if you want to take a look at brick mania go for it they still have a lot of stuff that you can buy online if you have the ability to go into the store i guess right now is a good time to do so light my bricks now they're doing some crazy sales right now which is why i like i said i am gonna light up my whole city because i have the ability to do so now i've been kind of accumulating light kits to be able to really bring some life to the city i know i haven't really been posting any city videos as i promised in 2023 
but I guess now would be the time since, you know, a lot of their kits, as you can see, are marked down heavily. So right now they have different categories of percentage that you can buy off their kits. So let's just start with a 70% off. Disney Castle's already sold out, but you know, the original kit used to cost 160 bucks. Now it's 48. Another highlight would be Ninjago City Docks for 70. Now it's 21. I did take advantage of that. As you can see, there's a lot of things that you can light up for a relatively low price point. You know, still at 60% off, like the old fishing store, I got this for $14. I mean, it was 36. $14 is actually really, really cheap. And the modulars, just lining up the module buildings on their own the older ones are not so expensive as you can see it can be pretty hefty i'm trying to find a modular building a current module building that's oh, I, oh it's already sold out so as you can see this kit was 95 dollars now 38 you can see that there is value in getting it right now uh same thing with this retro bowling i don't i didn't get this in the uh brick new designer program but for 42 dollars off of 105 i mean that's significant and you know they have you know kits for oh my gosh 34 dollars so they're running out of kits. The Home Alone house has a lot of lights. $205 now for $160. Still, you know, it's still pricey. But if you wanted to light it up and take it to another level, hey, there you go. So light my bricks. They're, they they have gifts for purchases right now, too. They did have this, like, bag kit. I kind of put it away. So all this stuff here came with it if you ordered earlier. And I took advantage of it. And they, they've been having their Black Friday sales for, like, a minute before even today. And I took advantage. Spent a hefty penny. I would say, like, just getting all the remaining light kits that I need, probably about $600, just buy that. But now every module building that I have to include the Daily Bugle as well as the Sanctum and all of the Ninjago modulars, I have lighting kits for. And I know that I've saved a pretty penny getting them all at this point versus individually having to pay for shipping as well when shipping today is free. So I took serious advantage of the Light My Brick stuff of the past couple, I guess two weeks, because they've been doing this for like a week and a half prior. So actually, you know what? I spent like nine. Yeah, 900 already, I think, ish. I think three, four, seven, plus the Ninjago's another two, so $900 just on that. <laughs> wow. All right, so let's go straight to lego.com. I already made my purchases last night. I mean, I pre-ordered the Natural History Museum. I just got it in, but the Avengers Tower just came out. I did pick this up immediately. I mean, the site was kind of like iffy in the very beginning. It took a second for this one to actually go live, but I did pick it up to include the promo taxi cab that came along with it. So I know I have it in the bag. I just didn't want to wait, especially with this new video that I'm working on. I do need this kind of in it. I don't know if I need it built, but honestly, this doesn't fit in my city. I have no idea where to put it. It's too tall for the shelf. So I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly. I'm not gonna have this extra stuff that's all the way around it. I just want the skyscraper itself. So I did shop through their sales. Now, I mean, I do do this thing where I uh, kind of donate a lot of sets to, you know, kids who would need them uh, during the holidays. Uh, not something I promote heavily and ask the community to do much uh, in helping me, but I do take advantage of sales when I see them. And right now, hey, Lego is on sale. I can get multiple sets here that are normally really expensive and for a decent amount off. So I took advantage and got at least another 250, two order $250 sets. So like $500 worth of Lego, just like so get another promo, <laughs> two more promos. So I got two more promos. So I can take advantage of giving the promos away as well to these kids. So it just adds to more sets to be able to, you know, share. Uh, I might do one more, but you know, really, I, I don't need to. I think I spent enough on Lego.com. So that's, you know, 100 Brick Mania, $900 on Light My Bricks, and 500 plus 250 so another $900 on Lego.com. I'm already at two grand just here. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> whoops. I mean, <laughs> I definitely broke my wallet. So before I get into the Lego stuff, I did buy some things not lego related that i guess i could kind of show off right quick uh ag1 renewed a subscription hex clad got some pants <laughs> went to target bought a bunch of things that we need in the house don't judge me we need some of this stuff <laughs> but forest moon bricks has some stuff that i saw we got clone pilots 18 dollars for just the body so you still need to buy the head and the helmet uh rebel clone pilot orange blue dark blue and dark green i would take a look and see what they got they have some cool stuff as far as custom military printing uh let me just show off like some of that right quick they have some cod stuff <laughs> and some cool looking minifigures that you could pretty much pick up if at your own choosing i do love their printing i have some of their products uh, i am not at all disappointed when it comes to what they release so now citizen brick i'm waiting for them to finally re oh they do they released them okay so new arrivals <laughs> now if you're not familiar with citizen brick citizen brick does pad printing i don't stress enough how 
good their quality is. If you want LEGO to do something that you know LEGO wouldn't do, for example, John Wick, <laughs> in the way that LEGO would print it and make it, Citizen Brick, pad printing, feels like LEGO did it, but LEGO would never make these things. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get John Wick for sure. Sometimes they do building kits. Uh, they have a few still out at the lowrider carpool. I still have to do something with that. I do have that, you know, $250 for a <laughs> lowrider. <laughs> they do have some minifigs uh, outside from their release from today. So I don't have him. So I might as well get him too. Walter White. So I guess they sold out of, uh, wait, are they both in here? Oh, they're both in here. Okay add a uh, black hole yes this is actually really cool such a great movie how much am i at 165 <laughs> all right minifig co now okay minifig co and i don't have a good relationship if you know our history and our issues with each other you understand why i don't really push them but i gotta admit they make some cool stuff and the night troopers is something i was looking forward to lego making and i know they're gonna make them but minifig co they had options to be able to buy three different versions of these that you could have chosen from once they released these like a couple of weeks ago, I believe, but $10 for the, the body. I would have picked up these middle or these end ones versus one and three, but they're sold out. All they have left is this version two, which is still cool nonetheless, but yeah, I missed out on them. And uh, they do have Night Trooper helmets, three different versions as well to kind of change it all up since they're not all the same. They do have these uh, Death Troopers, which is cool. Two different versions of them, which you just need two of them right technically uh as well as a helm which is not available and their own thrawn now i don't put my stamp on the reliability of ensuring that you actually get the product and or refund or if there's any issues that it'll be resolved that's your gamble but i have to admit they do great work and if i do have it in my hand uh there hasn't been any any minifig that i've been disappointed about eclipse all right come on bro i am waiting for you to finally release those signs <laughs> They have the, uh, there we go. Yes, they're up. Okay, so we got billboards, which I was looking forward to the most. Um, Eclipse does some cool printing. I, I recommend anything they do <laughs> again. As far as just novelty things that you'd probably want in a city, a diorama or anything else that kind of enhance your builds. I get their vending machines. I get their graffiti work. Sometimes I get their minifigs. If you want to pick up, you know, any of these, go for it. But right now the new releases for Eclipse graphics, um, aside from what you see up there, are these signs which i'm probably going to pick up brick warriors which eclipse just bought out too they have some new releases as well so i'm currently on brick warriors insta so i did pick these up if anyone's asking if i got any of these stained glass windows for my black falcons i did i got both this is what i was looking forward to i was looking for this you got an archer commander a sergeant infantryman of these uh knights templar and i don't see them on there oh, okay i see them so let's just go new so we got one of each. So I guess it kind of sucks that they don't have any shields or anything like that to add to it. What you could do is you can just go through and arm them individually as far as like weaponry is concerned. So they have a lot of things you can kind of play with as far as what you want to arm them or want them to look like. So they have these overmolds. That's something new. And then just regular armor if you just want to go down the list. Bricker builds. So they do have a Black Friday thing going on. A good chunk of their stuff is marked down. Uh, looks like anywhere between fifty to a hundred dollars, uh, depending on how big it is. There are a couple things here that I do want. Um, if you are not familiar with Bricker Builds, they give you like the you know Lego full-on build, like a, a master builder type of build, uh, with the stuff that they sell. So a lot of blocks and plates. For the most part, no crazy types of pieces unless it's like necessary. So here are some of the stuff that they currently have. I do want this Squirtle. I don't know. He looks really cool. About $1,100. You could get like all three of them. This is Pikachu and Charmander with it. I think Squirtle is the best looking one. Not going to lie. And you get like the sunglasses for this one. I think if you order today and or the Pikachu the hat as well. So uh, if you want to spend this, I mean, he's cheaper. I mean, smaller, 600 bucks. Uh not so bad again it's mainly the traditional brick and you're sculpting with them so that's what you get out of a bricker build set and i think i kind of want to get one of these i just don't know which one i mean ev you know at 500 versus 550 in charmander it's about a g versus the uh you know 1100 so squirtle again it's he's the one that i kind of really want out of all of this uh, maybe even a mushroom i mean the mushrooms are doable there's quite a number oh my god I didn't even know they had an Angry Ghost replica. Well, 450, you're saying 50 bucks there. You know, they're not all this high. They are cheaper price points if you want to dive into it. I know they sell instructions too, I believe. If you want to source the bricks yourselves, you, you can definitely do that. But I don't know, this Gordo though. 
Uh, he looks really cool. I don't know where I'd put him, but I feel like I can learn a lot just putting this together. Uh, just learning how to sculpt. Uh, I, I think it's a good skill to have if you're if you're mocking, especially because this is like you know what Lego would do themselves. So very master buildy. I got some of their small things. Uh, oh my! Oh my gosh! Yes. Oh man! The Green Ranger's dragon sword. Brick veteran. They do have a new release. I think which is the Jag D Tiger. Again, I, I, I've been kind of holding off on building their stuff as far as buying a lot just because it's a very hefty price point. They still have the F-18 Grumman, the G version. If you want to purchase that, uh, there's one left available. I have, you know, four F-18s right now, so I don't, just don't know where to put the G version of the F-18. I do want that. I just know where to put that. Now, as far as like top tier builds uh, for custom in the whole world of Lego customs, as far as building experience, uh, a quality of the bricks, uh, the packaging, Brick Veteran still wins in my book. But again, you're paying a hefty price point. But they also do, as you can see right here, offer instruction. I mean, this thing, I've seen a few people build it. It is a beast. I mean, luckily it's flat, so it's easy kind of to display if you were to like hang it up, I guess, if you're not afraid of dropping it. But they do have the F-18F digital instruction. So if you want to get the F-18F, uh, $30, it cost me like four to $500 at most to, to be able to price this out on BrickLink. That's before shipping and tax. So keep that in mind. The cheapest I've been able to price this out on BrickLink. And remember, you gotta, you gotta really, it just depends on what's available out there as far as inventory on BrickLink. The cheapest I'll be able, I was able to do it is about about like 230 240 i know matt the brickways was able to do it around that price point so you just gotta be smart with your parts by brick tactical they do have a black friday sale oh, it's my oh, gosh. hey smiling survivor that's actually pretty dope yeah i don't know what's what, what makes it black new weapons crazy combos or view all new merch let's see what they got okay so these are all the new stuff i've usually buy stuff from them when i see them in person so i might have to wait till then as well united bricks Let's see. I don't know if they're doing anything for Black Friday, but new products. Here's a new stuff. World War II German Napoleon Bonaparte. Um, this is, looks like just restocking. K-Town. I think if I remember correctly, um, they weren't doing anything for Black Friday. They just have their holiday releases that you'll see in about a week. So, you know, K-Town, again, I recommend them a lot as far as, you, you know, custom castle stuff. Ooh, you know what? Since I'm here cult bricks i recently picked up some stuff from them i haven't opened it up i probably should it looks like they restocked a bunch of things yes i i do okay i probably should open up my box i kind of had it sealed for a minute just because i wanted to open up when i do my next castle video just stay tuned for that brick designers all right so I don't know if they if they have anything for today. They do a lot of instructions and printed parts packs, so they'll sell the instructions and or do printed parts for other companies as well. Like they, if a specific company made something and you want to get printed parts to the stickers or whatever, they kind of do partnerships with that or make different versions of that set. But you want to make it like this version, you can, they they kind of provide that for uh, the Lego military community, I guess. But they also have the gunship printed part pack with the correct torso which i recommend if you really want to do that i have three of these if you saw the video so i could jump on board Ooh, 51 that hurts <laughs> but the torso just might be enough for a good chunk of that but they sell instruction stickers printed parts and stuff like that but that's pretty much it so let me know if you bought anything specific from any of these places or if you plan on doing so if you broke your wallet i feel you